So just when we were starting to think that the Shanquella Robinson case was gonna be a dead end, some wild evidence recently came to light that blew the entire case open once again and showed us just how evil the Cabo Six are and how they treated Shanquella. Also, her family recently spoke out and revealed who really killed Shanquella and y'all are not gonna believe who the murderer is and how they tried to lie and manipulate Shanquella's family. With her luggage, what did they tell you happened to your daughter? that she got sick from drinking, it was alcohol. So it has almost been about five months since Shanquella Robinson tragically passed away while on holiday with friends in Cabo, Mexico. And for a while, there were thoughts that the Cabo Six just might get away with murder. For months, the authorities refused to mention who in particular killed Shanquella, claiming that the investigation was still ongoing and could be compromised if they revealed too much. But now we finally know who really her. Now, Shanquella's death became a social media sensation as a result of how messed up it was. She went on vacation to Cabo and 24 hours later, she was dead. Now, at first, her friends tried to claim that her death was from alcohol poisoning and this is what they told Shanquella's family. So when, when, they, were, when they got back from the trip with her luggage, what did they tell you happened to your daughter? That she got sick from drinking, it was alcohol. That she got sick from drinking, it was alcohol. And that's the same thing they told the doctors that first treated Shanquella at the villa they were staying at. It's believed that Shanquella might still be alive if they had come clean to the doctors and told them what really happened. A police report from the day she died says guests at the resort called for medical help, claiming she had drunk a lot of alcohol. A doctor said she was, quote, stable but dehydrated, adding that the guests refused to bring her to a hospital. The police report said she went into cardiac arrest and was declared dead at 6 p.m. But then the autopsy report listed her cause of death as severe spinal cord injury and atlantoaxial subluxation, which is a condition where unstable or excessive movement is present in the first two vertebrae of the neck, and it suggested that Shanquella had been the victim of a physical Interestingly, the autopsy made no mention of alcohol in her system, and people have mentioned that if she had indeed taken enough alcohol to get alcohol poisoning, then it should have shown up on the autopsy. But then things started to heat up when a video that showed Shanquella getting beat up by one of her so-called friends went viral on social media. She was getting beaten by a woman named Dejanay Jackson, and even though other people in the friend group were present, they did nothing to help Shanquella or stop Dejanay. And at one point, her supposed best friend Khalil Cook mocked her and said, Quilla, can you at least fight back? Even though it was believed that the beating she got from Dejanay was possibly the one that killed Shanquilla, authorities refused to officially name her as the instead saying that the Cabo Six were persons of interest in the investigation. Mexico also ruled the case to be a femicide and requested that extradition of the group so that they could face the law in Mexico. Mexican authorities released a statement saying, this case is fully clarified. We even have a court order. There is an arrest warrant issued for the crime of femicide to detriment of the victim and against an alleged perpetrator. A friend of her who is the direct Actually, it wasn't a quarrel, but instead a direct aggression. We are carrying out all the pertinent procedures such as the Interpol alert and the request for extradition to the United States of America. It's about two Americans, the and the culprit. Even with this, the U.S. government seemed to be dragging its feet on the case, insisting that the investigation had not been concluded yet. Well, it looks like Shanquella's parents have had enough of this, and they had their lawyer send a letter to the White House, asking for answers and begging them to find some solution. The interesting thing about the letter is that the family finally revealed who it was that the Mexican authorities had a warrant out for, and surprise, surprise, they named Dejanay as the aggressor who Shanquella. The letter said, the viral video showing Shanquella being beaten in the villa while kid by one of the six travel mates who was identified by the witness as Dejanay Jackson. An autopsy report prepared on October 30th, 2022 in Mexico by medical examiner Dr. Rene Adalberto Galvan Asagura noted that Shanquella's body had a head injury and concluded that Shanquella's cause of death was a broken neck. The letter continued, as a result of the investigation, a warrant was issued for Dejanay Jackson by Mexican law enforcement. One of the six travel mates who fled the United States after Shanquella was pronounced 
dead. Miss Jackson was identified as the perpetrator of femicide against Shanquella Robinson, a homicide based on gender. If a United States citizen commits homicide in Mexico and returns back to the United States, as you are aware, they can face criminal charges in the United States under federal law or state law, depending on the circumstances of the crime. So from this letter, we can tell that her family is sick and tired of not having justice start for their daughter. The last part was them pretty much telling the US government that if you're not gonna send them over to Mexico to face justice over there, at least have them face justice here in America. And it's just so sad because no parent should ever have to go through the horror of not only losing their daughter, but also having to get involved in a long fight for justice. But that's not the only thing contained in the letter because it also included some new revelations that show how horrible the Cabo Six were. According to a witness statement given to the family's lawyers by a concierge in the villa where the group stayed, Shanquella never really fit in the group from the very start. The concierge said, she seemed to not fit in with the others. When I introduced myself, she did not greet me or smile. She was indifferent, nothing to do with the atmosphere of celebration. She was out of place at the party. This kind of suggests that the group was hostile towards Shanquella from the very start, but that's still not the worst part of it because even after Shanquella was pronounced dead, the group still didn't feel any sort of remorse or even grief. The concierge revealed that after she was pronounced dead, he went up to the villa to offer his condolences to the group. He said, I left that area and stayed outside the main entrance to give them space to mourn and grieve. Minutes later, I heard laughter. That's not all because according to reports, hours later, Jackson texted the concierge about dinner and he arranged a ride for the group to San Jose. But he found out later that the group went to the airport. Later when the video was released of Jackson her, the concierge said he realized that practically Jackson had manipulated him in an effort to leave the country as soon as possible. So when they realized that they had killed Shanquella, they didn't feel bad about it. Instead, running away from Mexico to the U.S. in hopes that they would avoid facing consequences for their actions once they reached the U.S. because they didn't think that the case would blow up like it did. This just shows how much they didn't care about Shanquella and it explains why a lot of people feel like the whole thing might have been premeditated. Someone commented, this is heartbreaking and outrageous. The authorities know who was there. They have a video of an assault, not a fight, and the injuries. Justice must be served. Everyone involved from the assault to the others who stood by and then covered up what happens needs to be apprehended, charged, and jailed. Another person said, I can't believe this is still going on. I can't believe nobody, not one person has been held responsible for this. All right, peace, Shanquilla. This is so heartbreaking. And this other person added, I have been following this story since day one and I do not understand why Dejanay has not been prosecuted. She's in the video, clearly beating the living hell out of Shanquilla. What more do they need? It's really sad that Shanquilla's family has had to wait this long to get justice, but hopefully now that we know who did it, things are going to move a lot faster and they can finally get the justice and closure they need to fully heal. But while you're here, you need to check out this next video.